a lot of times we are under the impression that we have to suffer in silence and that is so far from the truth. It's your girl Crystal O and today I wanted to talk about a very important topic near and dear to my heart because it's personal and professional. Uh, many of you know that I work as a therapist um, and a lot of you don't know that I was actually diagnosed with a disorder in 2020 and today I just wanted to share more about just my story, uh, mental health and that is why I am so thankful for BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and jump into more about um, my story and kind of just the resources that I feel um, were helpful for me. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to kind of give a summary of my story just to not allow this video to be so prolonged. Um, but I also did want to share more about BetterHelp before beginning my story. So BetterHelp is basically a platform where you can meet with a licensed professional virtually worldwide anywhere like this is not self-help this is not just like a life coach um, and I believe that this will be really really helpful for anyone struggling with their mental health right now who's in need of support um, the link will be in my description bar so make sure to check it out if you are someone needing that support there is no shame there is no guilt there is no embarrassment when it comes to mental health and getting what you need trust me because my story just shows how I had to literally overcome the guilt and the shame and the embarrassment and finally just ask for help. It is totally okay to ask for help. It is totally okay to pray. It is totally okay to lean on someone else, especially in times when your mental health is declining. So let's go ahead and jump into my story. So in 2020, um, I began to notice that um, mentally my, my behaviors or just my ability to regulate my emotions was declining. I mean, 2020 was a crazy year. We can probably all admit that, uh, but it impacted everyone so uniquely and so differently. And I had always known that I had like something going on in me but it was just kind of like oh, okay whatever like it's probably just like normal it's probably just like who I am right um and I really didn't give it too much attention it wasn't really until I got married to my husband that I started to real oh not even married until we started dating I started realizing like hmm these behaviors aren't normal these responses aren't normal these things are not normal and that is kind of what I kind of, you know, was just tracking, but still wasn't really sure if anything was wrong with me, like, or if anything was, you know, at a lack in me. So, uh, continue going along my life, um, and in 2020, I finally had an event um, in my life that really um, showed me as crystal clear as possible um, just how much I needed help and just how much I was not okay. And that it was done acting or pretending or believing or living in denial that I was not okay. That, well, believing and living in denial that I was okay because I was not okay. Um, it was almost at a point where it was like, I was so hopeless and helpless because I couldn't, like, I couldn't stop myself from doing the particular behavior or the destructive behavior. I couldn't stop myself from doing the destructive things that the disorder would kind of cause me to fall into patterns of doing and being. And it was really, really rough. It wasn't until I actually sought out professional help that I realized that this was bigger than me. This was bigger than what I thought I had going up against. And I really do feel like as a believer, God did reveal this disorder to me to allow me to attack it and to heal and grow through it. Um, so I'm really thankful that it was revealed. I know you're probably thinking like, no, Crystal, don't speak that over yourself. Don't speak a disorder over yourself. I promise you guys, I'm not speaking anything over myself. I am simply just um, allowing the diagnosis to inform my behavior or to inform my responses 
and allow myself to kind of change those behaviors or to grow through those things but not actually att attributing it or accepting it or you know I guess owning it like this is who I am this is me right to me pinpointing something as a disorder isn't necessarily labeling yourself or claiming it over yourself to me it's more so identifying it as the issue or as a concern or as a problem and then letting that inform your your journey of healing let that inform your understanding of why you act the way you do why you think the way you do and that is why i believe it is so important to seek out professional therapy oftentimes when i talk to people about therapy or just encouraging them or advocating for them to go to therapy i hear a lot about the cost of therapy and i did want to share with you all that better help does have affordable rates for those who are seeking therapy. Sometimes I hear about people who are struggling to find a therapist that they want or feel like they are matching well with. BetterHelp also helps with this process and it is free to change from therapist to therapist if necessary. Um, so I, for one, did have to, you know, get on a medication. I, for one, did have to go through this very rigorous process of healing and growth. And I can say that I've come a long way from last year. I feel like what, you know, the enemy meant for evil in my life, God is using it for his good. And I'm so thankful for that because oftentimes we don't catch these things. We don't catch these um, things that are eating us alive until it's too late. I believe that this is an opportunity for me, for you, for anyone out there who may be struggling with their mental health to know that they are not alone and they have people like me um, and resources like BetterHelp that are looking to support them, walk alongside them, and fight for the healing you deserve. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that tidbit of my story with my diagnosis. I know I don't share a lot on here about it. I think I share more on Instagram about my disorder or having been diagnosed. But that's just a little tidbit of my story. As time goes on, I'm sure that I will be more open to sharing more of it. Um, but for now, I just wanted to let anyone out there know that they are not alone as it pertains to fighting for mental health and just wellness that I am fighting right alongside with you and best believe that we can do it. So make sure to check out BetterHelp. It's really easy to use. It's really, you know, convenient for usage. And I believe that by connecting with a professional therapist, that healing can occur, that healing is possible and that growth can happen. Um, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, make sure to check out my description bar once more um, to check out the BetterHelp link. Once again, it is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And I really do hope that you find the healing and the hope and the restoration that you desire. Bye, y'all.